the first section, the opening section, is public order. And um, this work, I actually began before I started my MA um, at the Royal College. And I went with actually this image in my portfolio um, to interview. And this image ended up being on the wall in, in the Tate. So there's a really nice kind of trajectory to it. And uh, the police uh, were very, very generous in terms of supporting what I wanted to do. They were very welcoming. They were quite disappointed that I didn't actually f uh, photograph all the riots that they um, set up in these places. And these um, small towns, and they are kind of to s just about to scale, and they look very much like uh, very run-down British, British towns. And they practice every day for riot situations in these towns. I did actually start off by photographing that and realised that there was so much more um, kind of power and the, like the sense of latent violence that's in the work. Um, is much more evocative than trying to get some, some action shots. Is there something autobi autobiographical or something that sparked off this, this interest? Yeah, I think I didn't really acknowledge at first. Um, I I've kind of wanted to be a forensic photographer or you know, really like the idea of being some kind of uh, in investigator. So I was kind of living out that fantasy by working with these institutions. My dad, who's a very traditional working class guy, is very into rules. He's like, my house, my rules. And I was very into smashing the system. <laughs> I go, well, I'm not going to do that, Dad. So um, I was kind of thinking about rebellion and... Uh, and this idea that these patriarchal systems are set in place and they're kind of a given. So nobody's questioning why these towns are, are kind of designed in the way they're designed. And I suppose um, public order situations have really changed in the last 10 or 15 years. And riots happen anyway. They happen in the countryside about fox hunting or in the city. So these places don't really represent the rioters anymore. So another thing that really... Um, I think has influenced the work is the fact that my mum is uh, is always worried about the worst case scenarios. The, I think the motivation for this work came about because um, you know it was, it was photographed at the time that we went to war with Iraq and we um, well I was involved in demonstrations as I'm sure a lot of people were. Um, as the series developed, I was thinking about um, the training scenarios that the soldiers go through and um, the soldiers who. Uh, and you go through training scenarios um, in home territories and they would use devices like this to create a sense of realism and there's something which is um, very spectacular and also very tragic about them and um, you know there's kind of references to the filmic there's references to computer games um, and also to, to the tradition of landscape photography